Hey guys, uh, this is a tutorial on how to make a simple propeller RPM counter or a tachometer using a bit of hardware and a microcontroller. Uh, I'm specifically going to provide the code for the Arduino, but you can apply it easily to any other microcontroller that you're using. Uh, it consists of a, um, an IR diode, a phototransistor, a bit of uh, analog circuitry and the microcontroller itself. And the principle of operation is very simple. I basically have a light going from the LED to the phototransistor. And when the propeller breaks that light, then uh, the microcontroller counts. And uh, all you have to do is see how many times you count in one second, divided by two because your propeller has you know, two blades and multiply it by 60 because uh, there are 60 seconds in a minute and that will give you your RPM. So um, a bit about this, um, you can use, well, here I have an IR LED and the photo transistors which are matched uh, at 808 nanometers. That is important. Or uh, you could use any LED and an LDR and it would probably work. You can try it out and uh, let me know, but I think it will work, not any problem. And uh, the tricky part, I look at, so let's look at the circuit first. Here I have the LED, a 330 ohm uh, resistor, and uh, here's my phototransistor, and the 10 to 30K will do probably fine. I, uh, I have an 18K, you should check uh, with your you should play around with the phototransistors, see how the what levels it gives you to decide what resistor to put here. But uh, around 20k should be fine. But the tricky part here is the um, the Schmidt trigger, without which this system won't work. Because if you just connect the out with the microcontroller, the problem, the issue here is that when the blade is just about to pass or well, just about to block the light path, any um, any noise, any light noise might generate a false reading. So basically you might get double, triple, maybe like five readings every time the propeller passes through, which will give you completely wrong results. So uh, that's why you need something like this. Um, well, I have used an op-amp here, but you can use an op-amp comparator, or if you don't have any of those, you can actually use transistors. You can Google on how to make a Schmidt trigger. But the principle of operation is pretty simple here. I have a uh, voltage divider which puts my non-inverting input in between VCC and ground, which is at about two and a half volts. And every time the this voltage divider passes the threshold, the output um, well goes higher or low correspondingly. And the the key element here is the positive feedback, as you can see here. Well, um, when when the output goes high, it gives positive feedback, which lowers the threshold, so it can't so the signal can't bounce around there, okay? And the other way around. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty important to um, make it work reliably and uh, in a stable fashion. So, uh, and uh, yeah, this is the output and it goes to your interrupt pin or whatever you wanna use. And let's take a look at the code. Yeah, I have the Arduino code here. As you can see, it's very simple. It's like six lines. I have a counter and uh, I used my, I used a serial port to display the information. Um, you know, so you don't, I don't have to attach any LCDs or anything like that, it's much faster and simpler. So uh, all I do here is I attach an interrupt. If you don't know what an interrupt is, you should definitely read about it first before doing this, or you can just copy the code or work or whatever. And uh, what this um, basically does is that you declare an interrupt on the pin on interrupt zero, which is pin uh, two of the Arduino, the function which you want it to perform when the interrupt fires, and I want it on the rising edge. So the, what this basically means is that every time uh, there is a logical change of um, low to high on pin two, then this function triggers the count, which just you know in increments the counter. And what I do, uh, what I do here in the loop, I just wait for almost a second. And then I just see what what value the counter is, divided by two because of two propellers, multiplied by sixty, which is, in other words, multiplying by thirty, 
and uh, not the counter after and uh, yeah that's that's basically it and you can see here i delay by 9 19 milliseconds not one because of the interrupts they they delay the procedure and uh you, you want to put something but this isn't really important this next slide details will give you a five percent error or something so uh yeah let's see let's see it work um i'm gonna first of all open the serial monitor <coughs> you will see that it's at uh, zero rpm if i break the barrier break the barrier a few times you can see here that i'm getting a little reading but let's actually spin the prop up arm it we're gonna get a solid light oh there we go so um, you see nothing is obstructing it and i can spin it up all right so uh you can see here that i'm getting about 1600 rpm i'm gonna nudge it up just a little bit yeah, so you can see that it works and uh, that is basically it just be careful be careful when you're doing this I, I suggest you set it up statically like this with the by passing the propeller through so you see that the propeller moves you know freely and then spin the propeller up um, and if you are holding it by hand, definitely wear protective glasses uh, because you know if you're putting if you're putting your head at eye level, the propeller might be dangerous. So um, that's about it. Um, enjoy and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can post in the comments below. Thanks.